Hi, Caleb here from Tosa Tool. Today I want to talk about the TT1236CAL modular tooling plate. So I'll go through an unboxing of it and then we'll talk about it a little bit. So it'll come in a heavy duty wooden box like this. We'll take out these screws and take this cover off. All right, so the couple things in this box. First thing is the installation instruction sheet. First thing it says is always be careful when lifting these plates, they're very heavy. So I weighed this one in 30 pounds, so a lot lighter than the 80 pound steel plates because it's aluminum. However, you should still be careful when lifting it or moving it and it's always easier to have someone else help move it. So the next thing is Tosa Tool bumper sticker. So you can put this on your car or on your machine or whatever you'd like. And next thing is a bag of hardware. So first we have two precision ground 4140 pre-hardened step pins. So these press fit into the bottom of the plate into the 3 8 inch precision holes. And they sit in the 5 8 keyways on your mill. So these pins make sure that your plate is as straight and square as the table is on your mill. And if you have different keyways than 5 8 Tell us and we can customize these pins for your mill. So next we have the half inch socket head cap screws. So there will be four of them in your kit and these mount through the plate into the T-slot nuts, the included T-slot nuts that are inside the keyways of the table. And finally we have two precision pins that are for locating your vise on the table, but I'll talk about these a little later. And finally, we have the actual plate. So when you get it, it should be encased in a heavy duty plastic wrap or a plastic bag like this to protect it from the elements. So I'll take this wrapping off and talk more about the plate. So I took it out of the box and took the wrapping off. Now let's take a look at the plate. So it's one inch thick and it's made from 6061 T6 aluminum. That's what AL is for at the end of the part number. So the overall size is 36 inches wide in the X and 12 inches deep in the Y. The C in the part number TT1236C is for the third generation of this type of plate. So along with all the rest of the similar size plates, this surface is ground to within one thousandth. And it's also hard clear anodized, so this makes the surface almost as durable as steel. The quarter twenty tapped holes on the edge of the plate were added on this new addition. And these are for your homemade chip guards or for ones that Tosa Tool will be releasing soon. The whole pattern consists of 160 of the half 13 threaded and counterboard holes. And these are spaced 1.25 inches apart. There are also 190 of the 0.501 precision board holes and these are also spaced inch and a quarter apart and these have a tolerance of plus or minus one thousandth. Also there are the four counterboard mounting holes for the socket head cap screws and the three three eighths inch precision holes for the precision 
step pins that sit in the keyways on the table of your mill that I talked about before. And as you can see, there's the alphanumeric lettering with letters going from A through S along the Y and numbers going along the X from 1 through 57. And this makes it so you can easily switch between setups without losing any of the precision because of the precision locating pins with a dowel pin or a threaded locating pin. The threaded and counterboard holes allow for clamping and locating with the two custom vice locating pins that I said I would get back to before. These are for the Tormach Machinist vise. They slide right into those holes. And pins for other devices are sold separately. And these have a quarter 20 hole in the center for ease removal with the Tosa Tool pin puller. And you can also use these half 13 holes for the precision locating pins that just thread right into the holes. And the half inch precision board holes are for the lo precision locating pins that slide easily into the holes or standoffs or other standoffs that thread into the half 13 threaded holes. But I'll talk about these in another video. So set screw and plug kit for all of the holes is sold separately, but if you're in a messy environment, they really go a long way to preserving your table. The simplistic design of this plate makes it easy to build your setups in one of today's 3D modeling softwares like SolidWorks, Inventor, Fusion 360, so you can do it virtually before physically wrenching it down. If you want, we can send you a program that engraves your workspace outline in the plate. This allows for easy machine setup and shows your travel boundaries. So this plate is the newest plate here at Tosa Tool. It was originally designed for someone who wanted to mount his woodworking projects on his mill. So he didn't need the durability of a 4140 pre-hardened steel plate. And this is the longest plate at 36 inches. So it will fit on a Tormach PCNC 1100, but it'll also fit on a 770. And it'll also fit on a Bridgeport style knee mill, Haas and Fidel VMCs, and of course, manual mills of similar size. The reason there are three 3 8 inch precision holes for the precision step pins is that so you can offset it on the table and have part of it hang off the table if you need that extra space off the side of the table. And that's really why it's so long. And it's around half of the price of a steel plate of equivalent size. So in a pinch, it could be used like a wasteboard. If you cut into it, you won't ruin your tooling. And since it's one inch thick, you can easily face off 10 thousandths and off the entire plate or just a section and make it just like new. And it's so light at 30 pounds, as I said before, because it's meant to be easy to come off the mill and then right back on when you need it to. If you're someone who likes to put up and keep up two vices on your machine, Dan makes a bar that bolts on, onto the bottom of the plate and clamps right in those two vices. So you can t call him and talk to him about customizing one for your application. And John from NYC CNC had a similar idea when he made his modular wasteboard that you can look up on his YouTube channel. It's great for cutting wood, plastic, and aluminum, but it can also work with steel. If this plate doesn't fit your mill perfectly, we can customize a solution for it. Or, since it's aluminum, you can also just customize it yourself. 
Another thing I wanted to mention is that all these plates have the precision of a jig bore, so they are as precise as can be. In six months, interest-free financing on your cart total is available through PayPal. A link to it's on the website. And again, this plate is around half the price of steel plates of equivalent size and less than half of the weight. So it might be a little awkward, but it won't break your back. Well, until next time, take care.